hello everyone hope you guys are doing okay i just thought i should share this with you how to make obono soup without oil so you know what i teach in this program is always the alternative not that the normal one is not good but for people who want to cut oil in whatever they are cooking so you can actually cook obono soup without oil so you know normally you know that people melt obono soup with oil they just put oil in the fire and then use it to melt the obono but how do you do it without oil you put your obono like that this is the obono so I, I boiled water i boiled water and then you know i put my put water inside my obono and there you will loosen it then you can use your spoon or whatever i'm still working on it to melt it you know to dissolve it so you that's how you do your bono then you know for color this is very good for color at least to give it a good color so i have this and i have my onions i have my 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 no cube i love no cube and i have my upeye this one is a local seasoning i have my dry fish you don't have to use everything i use you know i have my stripe that's shaki i have the kidney you know and then i have the oxtail all these things i have already grilled it because to be honest i like every meat that i use i like it grilled you don't have to grill your own but this is just an example how i will put it together for people who don't know how to do it you might use my method but people who already know how to do obono soup what you need to learn here is how to do it without the oil you get me so let me just put it together and then show you so again if you don't see the long pepper that i show you you can use this uh, bell pepper the red one and you don't have to use it the reason i'm using it is just to give the the soup color because you know that oil give the soup good color so you don't have to use it but if you have to if you don't see the long one you can use this one and um so this is a um, um, hot pepper scott bonnet so it depends on how hot you want it this is onions so i'm gonna crush all these things together and i will use it to season my meat pepper the onions the pepper has given it that red color that the oil could have given it so you have your color instead of oil but then i'm gonna add this so as you've added it is already you know colorful very very colorful so i'm gonna use this to boil that meat you know remember that um i grilled my meat i roasted my meat so it's not yet soft so i'm gonna use this you know to uh boil it until it's soft to my taste and uh, i'm not adding the kidney i'm not adding the kidney and the and the fish yet because i don't want it to be the kidney is cooked already so I don't want it to be too soft. So I am just, uh, you know, boiling this. And as I'm boiling this, I'm going to season it with salt. Season it with salt as, you know, you like. And then season it uh, with your maggi. So as if you are boiling your, you know, your fresh meat. For people who like to do with fresh meat, that's okay. At this stage, you can do your fresh meat, you know, you can put your fresh meat in the fire. But use this. To do the you know the water to cook it and then bring out the nice color in it so that you don't need oil so while the meat is cooking this is the okoye it's called okoye in Igbo language it's called iru in yoruba language it's called dawa i think dawa in Hausa language you know i don't know what it's called in other languages but you will know it so while the meat is cooking i just you know cut this into pieces and put it in water in hot water so before the it's time for me to add it it would have softened and i will just melt it and i will add it i forgot to tell you guys about this is crayfish so i'm gonna use crayfish as well and i want to use this opportunity to show you the obono you see your obono there's no more lumps in it it has already melted ready to go into the pot when i'm ready to use it you see so you didn't use um oil it's just hot water that did it but you have to put it in hot water and leave it for a while 
so that it will soak into it and melt it. You see, it's coming up very beautifully. So at this stage, the meat is softening up, so I want to add my fish because I want my fish as well to soften up so that all of them will be, you know, tender at the same time. Yeah, that the soup is even red as if you put oil in it. That is the magic of evergreen. So we wait for it to soften more, then we go on. Remember, as the water is dissipating, you can, you know, you can be adding water if you want. You can add water. Sometimes the crayfish is full of sand. So what do I do? I put water in it and just mix it together so that the sand will go down and then I will use the water. That's what I do. So the is soft. So this is how I melt it. It's melted now. Some people don't like the smell of it. So if you don't like the smell of it, don't add it. So it's not a must. It's just for flavor. That so right now I'm gonna add the okwe. I'm just gonna add it and then leave the you see I'm leaving the downside of it because you know sometimes there's sand in it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with crayfish. I'm gonna add it and then leave the downside of it because that's where sand you see, yeah, that's where sand is. So I'm gonna leave it. Then you turn it. So you see, it's almost ready. Uh, you know, Ogbono is the last thing that you add. So it's ready now. Time to add the Ogbono. You see the Ogbono. It's time to add it. So I'll show you. So you can see I've added the Ogbono. So in a few minutes time, it will dissolve. I couldn't use all of them. So I'm going to keep this and then use it next time. So you can see. In a few minutes it will dissolve and the soup will be ready wow this soup is ready whoever will tell you that this ogono soup has no oil in it have you seen it who will ever tell you that this ogono soup has no oil you see the color and i have tested it it tastes super i tell you super yeah so that's one of my gifts to you how to make obono soup without oil and it will come out very tasty and nice remember to share remember to follow the page remember to like remember to comment evergreen living tv only here you will see this take care of yourself remember i love you bye